Welcome back. No doubt the year 2020 was a very challenging one, as highlighted by the president and other leaders. But the pandemic cannot be wished away, and we just must find a way to work with it. Uh, let's find out how to do this. And joining us on the program is a productivity consultant and the president of the Institute of Productivity and Business Innovation Management, Mr. Remy Dairo, who has taken out time to be with us right here in the studio. Good afternoon, Mr. Dairo. Thank awesome. you for coming on the program Pretty and smart. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, sir, too. <laughs> we do appreciate what you had to go through yeah. to get here to the mm, studio, but too. that's what we're talking about, right. talking about productivity. Exactly. And uh, many of us, I mean, everybody mm. wanted the pandemic to mm. go with the year 2020, but mm. here we are. It's 2021 mm. and the pandemic Absolutely. is still very much here. So with all of this, how do we stay productive? So I, I think uh, Nigerians needs to um, rethink productivity. Productivity is no, no more about you know, appearing in the office anymore. So we need to go digital. So offices have to, as much as possible, how can we work from home? It's a reality because there's so much traffic everywhere. It's because everybody's trying to meet up with a particular uh, job or you know, opportunity or the other and all that. So uh, if we are going digital, that means we can stay on our, in our houses uh, with our laptop or your palm top or your phone and you can make things happen. But that cannot happen if there's no electricity. Because you need to get power to, you know, to put your, you know, system in order. Number two, data is very important. So I, I, it's not, a, it's not a, a point where you say, oh, I don't have money for data. Or why do I get data? So those things are things that government have to put in place for us to be able to get that kind of level of productivity. Because physical productivity is a lower, lowest level of productivity. But intellectual, smart productivity is the highest level, which is the global productivity today. And at Nigeria should be, you know, should up their game to that level now. Well, some would say it's not every business that can be transacted online. It's not all offices that can work, you know, digitally. So what about people who fall into this category? So people who also fall in the category of appearing in the office must also up their game. Now, um, before, you might be able to just do little things and get the results. So uh, today, you must be able to upgrade your level of knowledge and skill in your industry so that when you appear at work, you'll be able to do much more than what you are expected. Now, because there's a, there's, there's a lot of unemployment in town, people want to take your job. So even if you, are, you have to appear at work, there's, there's, the question is, are you giving the expected results? Are we getting what the organization is expecting from you? So everybody must up their game because uh, if you are not doing that and you are still producing this number of things you are producing before, I'm afraid uh, your, your, your job will be in question. So what I'm trying to say here is there must be upskill. There must be upgrading of your skill. There must be uh, cross-skill. You must be able to know how to do much more than what you are doing. So if I appear at work, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. That, that gives you more value. More, you, you are more valuable at work than just saying, oh, this is what I do. Oh, I only know how to do this. No, you must be able to cross-skill. Know how to do this and this and that. There's something called um, plus-skill, the right attitude at work. If if you have wrong attitude, even if you appear at work, you might not work. If you have wrong attitude to work, you might be physically at work. I said, okay, you are not using it, but you are here, and then you are not doing anything. So there must be a, a way where we can measure what exactly productivity is per day. If I cannot measure productivity, then we cannot actually say this person is productive. And it might be very dangerous to say productivity. Is what about the role of employers now? I mean, yes, we've seen a lot of remote working yeah. then, but then there have also been complaints by some employees that, look, my employer doesn't thinks that because I'm working from home, I'm not doing much, or my employer thinks because I'm working from home, then there's probably no resumption time, so to speak, and there's no time to close. So what about issues like that? All right, so I think employers also need to be trained on a new productivity model. So um, there is the new model for HR now for employers. You must understand how do we measure, because what employers, you know, the complaints from the employers is that, are we sure they are working? She's not sleeping at home. So let me, boom, let me bring so much that so I'll make sure I get my best out of the time that you know, she's using at home. So what I think employers should do is objective. What are we going to achieve this week? What is the milestone? What exactly is the objective for this week on Monday? So on Wednesday, we'll do a review. And on Friday, we'll do a final review. So by, by doing so, we'll be able to you know, uh, tap in and see how far the workers are working from home to check. Now, sometimes employers also need to provide what is necessary. There's no laptop, there's no phone, there's no smartphone, and you ask them to, to work from home. You have, I mean, there's no, no, the gadgets are not there. I mean, the, there's no internet, there's no office. In, 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 in the part of Europe, I mean, the Western world, the office will go to your house and build a small space for you 
from the office, they will, they will equip that corner for you as your office because they know that that, that angle or that area will be productive to them. As well. so, so employers must go, go beyond just you know, the talking, you know, work from home, which is general talking. No, we must be able to match our you know, talk with work by you know, equipping our workers at home so that they can be more productive. Very, very important. Providing data, providing mm. environment, providing um, electricity, mm. providing them all the things that they will need. And I think the productivity will go up from there. And everybody wishes for a productive 2021. <laughs> we'd like to appreciate your time, Productivity Consultant mm. and the President's Institute of Productivity and Business Innovation Management, Mr. Remy Dairo. Thank you very much Pleasure for coming on the program. Thank you.